Hi guys, welcome to my latest video. It's been a while, um, but I did try and do one, um, I thought it was Friday, and uh, it was quite a long one, and um, yeah, quick time decided to play up. Uh, not quite sure what other people are using, but um, maybe need to look at another program. But without further ado, let's get straight into them. First of all, we've got a retro, this is like a 1972, um, Man United, or 72, 74, I believe, uh, Man United top, had um, George Best number on the back of the top, um, number seven, uh, paid 350, went very, very quickly, uh, and I priced it a little bit above what the the going rate they'd been to selling for but that sold for 25.99 plus shipping next one we have got a cablematic ripley um virgin media sky 916 30 pound torque wrench uh will do cable in the cable industry at rg7 rg11 cabling um this was part of a previous haul, so pure profit. Uh, it was on 10% discount. That sold for 11.69 plus shipping. We did previously sell this item. Um, customer wanted to return. They said it weren't fit for the purpose that they needed it for. So as always, I, I took the return back. So no issues with that one. Uh, swiftly on to the next one. I think I paid about a pound for these. Uh, Memorex DB90. Uh, these sold at 18.49 plus 3.69 shipping. So um, some of the tapes I find do sell have a very good resale value. These these particular ones uh, just bundled them up all to together and yeah, nice good sale on them. Boom, boom, boom. Probably one of my best sales for a long time. Um, I seriously suggest be on the lookout for any NAF, F is pronounced like that, N A E F wooden puzzles. Um, made in Switzerland, been going around, I believe, since the mid 50s. This one may be 70s or 80s. Some of the wooden cars and animals sell for £80 and up. Um, I still got another one for sale, not gone yet, but this one. Cost me three pound fifty, sold for one hundred and fourteen ninety nine, which I did share on my Instagram page as well. Um, yeah, if you're not done so already, please uh, check us out there. RJ underscore UK underscore reseller on Instagram. Uh, I love to follow back all resellers on there. Um, so yeah, check us out. Moving swiftly on. Next item is a Greenlee Digi Alert butt phone. This one was in really good condition. Again, part of that ginormous auction uh, haul I bought. Excuse me, drop a cappuccino. Sold for $89.99 plus $349 shipping. Again, I think that one went abroad. Do sell a lot of these outside the UK. Okay, uh, this one is a Panasonic replacement spare cordless handset. Um, H11 is just where I store it at. I spoke before and it was based on, I was buying these handsets and base sets and PSUs etc to sell as a package and it wasn't so I looked on um, saying that Nick Hills had said about breaking them up and it was only BT phones that I looked at. Panasonic's another make I do look at. Um, as you can see, I paid three, four pounds for this and I was adamant I was going to chuck it in the bin because it weren't the one that was in the box and it was crudded well up. And I mean, brown, horrible crud, the whole blinking lot. <coughs> but I cleaned it up and the handset sold super, super fast. And I did sell two other bits from that, um, from that one there as well. So... Very good return. Keep a look out for them. Five pound to pay for these. Um, Snizener RF wireless headphone system sold at twenty four ninety nine. Had quite a lot of interest. Took a little while to sell, but when in the end. Um, Diecast cars. I know um, Zahir had bought a Fiat Duvalo. I think it was. Uh, I did message him saying um, check out the owners groups and that. Uh, some of you might know. Some of you might not. Um, I own and help run with my admin and mods um, 
for Club GB, which has in the region of we just surpass 10,000 members on that at the present. So the car stuff's always something that, that never surprises me on how well it sells. It's a massive market. I hear a lot, a lot of resellers are into gaming. gaming. Me and gaming passed a long, long time ago, to be honest. I don't mind playing the occasional game, but it doesn't hold that kind of interest for me. Cars does, and cars is a massive, massive um, industry. Hence, I was very... Um, very excited when Nick Hill has got that massive Hyundai um, haul. Um, yeah, I would have been in the element. But anyway, getting back to this, I purchased 11 diecast cars ranging from scale 143, 124, and 118s. 11 in all, Stedman five pound nine pence a car. Um, they were by a guy at a boot fair uh, in Swanley in Kent that uh, had a stall at the. Um, I think some car exhibition at Earl's Court, and um, yeah, he just wanted to shift them, but he weren't willing to drop down any more than he did. But <coughs> this one of that hall is the only one to go at the moment. But this one went for nineteen ninety nine plus three sixty nine shipping. Moving on, cameras. I like speaking about other resellers where I've listened to maybe bits and snippets of what other people have done. Darren Smart, Smart Reselling, I remember, I think it might have been last year, he bought a massive camera haul. Um, gets me to think a lot more within cameras and was here going on about the old uh, Olympus MJUs, etc. Paid £15 for a Pentax Auto 110 camera. Sold the case for 15 really underpriced. I think I could have got closer to 30 to £35, £38. And I've also sold this, which is the camera like the camera body and a very worn case. When this camera came out in around about 1979, they called it the spy camera. Um, I was about 14 at the time, I don't remember it, but hey-ho, there you, there, you, there you go. This particular camera had 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 a fault, hence I didn't sell the whole bundle. I thought I could still make good money back. Um, yeah, there's a bit of corrosion where the batteries had been <coughs> left in and part of that had broken away. But the camera still sold at sixteen pound nineteen with shipping, so I still got another twenty odd pound back on that. Plus, with postage, about eighteen nineteen pound back on the case. So that was my money back on that, and we have got another item I sold from that bundle as well. Again, uh, oscillator set the uh, sold here, um, pure profit again. This one come with brand new cables, a uh, couple of old uh, crop clips, oscillator. And also the uh, wand itself. Um, Ireland, this one I believe went to seventy four ninety nine. If you see these and you see them cheap, definitely pick them up. Uh, hopefully you've seen from my videos how much I've uh, made on these items. Uh, Sank I have for quite a while. Uh, we do. We have got most items on a one percent promotion. I believe a lot of people are on the promotions at the moment. These are also on a 10% off sale. <coughs> These sold 1349 uh, collectible rug rats. Quite heavy actually. Um, plus 369 shipping. So glad to see the back of them. Vintage Woten Game Sorcerer King. A uh, role playing game. First edition 1986. 21 at the time. Do not remember these games at all. Maybe I was into the wrong things at the, uh, at the time. But... Um, yeah, I took an offer on this at £20. That went, paid four, so a bit of profit back. So we spoke about the Panasonic uh, phones. I put two PSUs. Those, the, with this particular um, unit, um, both the main unit and the secondary unit that you would just plug into your mains, um, that took the same PSU. Both sold relatively quickly. I'd done free shipping. I, I weren't sure because I couldn't find Sank around this mark. But if I put them on again, I would put, easily put these on at nine ninety nine plus adding the shipping on. So yeah, plenty of profit for your two three pounds spent once you've cleaned the items up. Pentax phone pay not Pentax. Is there such a thing as a Pentax phone? I'm not sure. Perhaps it takes a picture when someone calls. Maybe not. Silvercrest big button phone with emergency call function, SOS, home telephone. Um, really like this item when I picked it up. I do have a sealing machine 
where I do seal certain things, uh, batteries were, was no good even though they were brand new. So we put four new PP, uh, PP four new um, AA batteries in and resealed them in the packaging. The sealing machine I have got, bear with me, is a impulse sealer. I really use that a lot. It's a, it's a great machine. It's quite um, it's quite a, a long, it's quite a long machine. Um, size of this bit that you would use for sealing is around about one foot, which is twelve inches. So yeah, pay three, four pound for the phone. So again, another good sell. Keep an eye on the phones. So we spoke about the Pentax. This was a twelve. This was the eighteen millimetre lens for the one ten. Um, such a tiny little unit. It was um, a brilliant item to um, to uh, sell. Now this was a twenty four uh, millimetre. Maybe the a different picture. I don't know. Maybe I made a mess. Might even get it back on a return. Who knows? Um, but anyway, it sold for twenty two forty nine plus shipping. Uh, the last of, at the moment. Until I pick up some more, the last of the oscillators sold. Um, Thirty-four ninety-nine, just the oscillator on its own. Um, Eighty-seven J made by Tempo, and also getting made by uh, Greenlee as well. If you see any of that type of stuff, uh, Tempo, Chesy Val, Greenlee, Fluke, pick them up. They're going to go for good money. <laughs> I had this picture for some time. Add it in my, um, put it in my hallway so I really liked it. Aspel and Saggers and Company, 78. One had sold at the same price. I put this one at 13.99. But my mistake was the other one wasn't being sold to ship around the world. I was. It's a very small mirror. And I've got no issues with packing these. I, I really enjoy sending mirrors off. Touch wood. I've not had any any come back. Uh, this sold very quickly at thirteen ninety nine. It went to South Korea. Um, coming to a cage, got three left. Um, set of four teddy bear wooden uh, Wendy Mooden nineteen ninety two rare table placemats. Had these for a long long time. Again, there was on my one percent promotion. Nine ninety nine plus shipping would have paid about a pound. Two to go. Alpine Radio paid. Lady wanted fifteen, paid twelve. Uh, had it for about a maybe a month. It might have even been two. I weren't sure how to rig it up, but in the end, I found a couple of old speakers um, to a music centre I got for sale and a CB radio power pack. Managed to find an old ISO lead in my shed, which I cut the ends off. Shame, it's worth thirteen quid. But he's saying I'm going to carry on. Uh, using if I can find what, what for where I put it, but um, yeah, um, I put this on and very quickly, a couple of days, twenty-seven people watching, few messages, sold for fifty-five ninety-nine. Car radios again. We're talking about the car side of things. Sold for very very uh good quickly in in the date. And the last one is a Silvac. Uh, Squirrel, nine ninety nine plus three forty nine shipping. So it's a quick video. I'm not sure if it's going to uh, work out this time. We will, we will see. Um, thank you for watching. I will get a November roundup for the first ten nine days of November uh, on Friday. Hopefully, we've had some good sales in there. Um, yeah, probably my favourite one was the NAF uh, wooden wooden jigsaw on that. Um, a great one there. If you're not done so already, it's the first time viewing. Thank you for watching. Um, if you're a regular, thanks for coming back. Like, subscribe, share, follow us on Instagram, Pinterest, wherever you want to do. Even on for Facebook, if you want to check me out there uh, under Roy London. Um, yeah, any questions? Uh, I'd like to get a few more questions. Um, anything at all you want to ask me, for far away, I will try my best to answer it. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great week. All the best. Take care. Bye.